You know what PESA means? Huh? What does PESA mean? Have any idea? Do you have any idea what PESA means? You talk in Hindi, right? So what does PESA mean? Thirsty. 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 You know why Piyasa was named the way it was? Because it talked about a guy who was looking for justice but was not getting it. From the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie, it's a quest for justice. It's a quest for justness, not justice alone. Justness. But he never received it. He remained eternally Piyasa. Uh, we can talk about this movie later on once we screen this movie because it is considered to be one of the finest Indian movies ever made. There were other movies being made in distant part of the country as well, in Bengal. There was this guy called Chakiji Dre. Heard his name? He made this movie called Pakhe Pachari, Song of the Little Road. It also talked about poverty. It was a lyrical representation of poverty. That was, that was how the New York Times at that point in time chose to describe it. The lyrical representation of poverty. He lyrically understand the point, you un do you understand when I say the lyrical representation of poverty? Do you understand me when I say that it's a lyrical representation of poverty? You present the poverty in lyrical Yes, I know, but what is lyrical representation of poverty? What is lyrical? <laughs> Everything is art. Now you are standing here, sitting here, this also is not. Not art. We will not give into art and commerce. That those two words are banned in We will not give into art and commerce. Everything is art, everything is commerce. Anything that you want, you know, the moment you want to earn money through a project of yours is commerce. The moment you create something, it is art. By definition, the art, by definition, it is commerce. So the movie is both an art and a service in commerce. Every movie, every single movie that you make, every single movie that is there is commerce. Every single movie that is there is art. Even a movie like Hamdil de Chukas and Salam is a you know, art, it's a piece of art. Huh? So, we will not get into that. When I say lyrical representation of poverty, what does it mean? Exactly, you replace the word lyrical with something else. Some, something else. You explain me the concept. Poetic. Poetic, yes. Poetic, musical. Poetic. In a very smooth way. Very smooth way. He showed poverty, not in this form of the not in a crude way. He showed it in a very smooth way. You are you leave through the poverty. You leave through it. Slowly but gradually you inhale it. You understand it. You internalize it. Okay? And that's why Pothai Pachali at that point in time ran for seven months together in London. In the theater of London. For seven months. The only critic who said something negative about Pothai Pachali at that point in time was a guy called from Kui through Four. He was a critic at that point in, and he went and became a filmmaker, a French filmmaker, as I'm already to talk, talk about Godard, right? He was also one of the instrumental figures in French filmmaking. So he said that I don't want to see Indian farmers eating with their hands. This is exactly what he said. That was the only critical part of the entire story. He was the only critic who said something negative about the film. And see, you have to understand here, if we are talking about 1950, anyone remember the time, the year when Pathe was released? We are talking about 1955. Cinema making, film making as an art was only taking shape, it was at its nascent stage. It had just taken birth. No one knew what cinema making is going to lead to. What are the social, what are the social repercussions, ramifications of cinema? No one knew at that point in time. Cinema was not studied. It was just a craft. It was just an extension of literature. As an art form, it was not separate. It was just an extension of literature. So at that point in time, in 1955, a movie like Pothri was made. He redefined cinema. It redefined Indian cinema. It changed the way people looked at cinema altogether. We had the word called art cinema because of it. Otherwise, we would not have it. Talked about something that was omnipresent. That was all along there, but no one looked at it. He is the person, Ray is the person who understood that cinema can actually show the social realities, expose the social realities. It is not just about entertaining, 
It is also about educating, entertaining, and making people aware of it. For the first time. And in the same league, in 1957, another movie was released. Yes. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. Prayasa was made by a guy called Gurudat. Have you heard the name of Gurudat by any chance? You haven't? Please read about him. Again, he's one of the architects of modern Indian cinema. Probably the most influential Hindi filmmaker. And it would be injustice if I were to restrict him to Hindi alone. He redefined Indian cinema per se. Gurudat. Read about him. Read about the movies that he has made. Okay? He lived for a very short span of time. He died at the age of 39. In 1964, he died at the age of 39. By that time, he had a huge repertoire of all Indian and some of the most influential movies ever made. I'll show you one clippings from one of his songs, one of the songs very featured. It's, it's a movie called Kagas Ke Fool. Okay? Um, again, does it really have a Kagas Ke Fool? I'll show one of the songs from the movie and see how they kept... Someone said, you're a cinematographer, look at how the camera work has been done. 